In today's episode, we're going to show you how to make a two color wall decal because in the past we have only made one color decals and there is a trick and some tips that you need to know for making wall decals, especially multicolor ones. So make sure you stick around and give us a like if you like this video. So let's begin. There are many vinyl cutters that you can use to make wall decals like the Silhouette Cameo or even a Cricut. But just keep one thing in mind. Wall decals are usually requested in a big size. So the bigger the machine, the better for you. However, there are ways that you can make large wall decals with your Silhouette Cameo 4, which by the way, we use it to make glitter t-shirts for the very same company that we're going to make their wall decals today. You can watch the end screen at the end of this video. So now let's begin with the process of making a two color wall decal and all the tips and tools and techniques that you're gonna use. And for today's project, we're gonna use permanent vinyl. We have Oracle 651. We're gonna use pink color and white color. And we have different transfers here. This is the one we're gonna use. This is a low tag. Since we're gonna be using the permanent vinyl, this is perfect to use with that type of vinyl. But if we were to use the 631, which is also recommended to use on walls, for that, we would have to use this one here. I will leave the name of it here on the screen because I forgot. But this one is not the best if you were to um, layer vinyl. It's really hard to see through it. So that's one of the reasons why we won't be using this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start aligning the vinyl because that's very important. Uh, make sure you guys don't skip that step. So I'm gonna get the vinyl and this is how we would normally align it. We have our little references or the alignments here. Up here looks about the same as down here. Now I'm gonna lock it and send it to the back. And just pay attention to how much the vinyl moves. And if it moves a lot, that means you will need to realign it. And while we wait that Saul sends the, the first color, and starts cutting the first color, we have the crew here. And actually guys, this is why we love working from home. The weather is getting kind of bad outside. And this is what I mean by really bad weather. It's getting bad. Huh? about to rain thunderstorms but we love working from the comfort of our home all right our vinyl cutter is ready with the first color obviously we still gotta cut another one yeah you can see where the weed box is and the reason why we want to combine the colors here it's because i guess saul wants to just get there and apply it and be on the way you know, because I'm trying to make people mad. No, I'm just kidding. But I, I, I know I can already see in the comments, I, I, and that's guaranteed. Some people won't agree with us, and they will Wasting say that we're too much vinyl. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things that never fails, you know. But we're just uh, showing different processes. Well, we cannot you know? please everyone. Yeah, but the reason we are doing it this way is because I want to waste material, and I also want to show you guys how if you um, come across this challenge, if you were to sell decals out of state, it's not like you're gonna send the decals or the colors separately. You would have to combine it before sending it out to the customer. I mean, that's what we do. We don't send them separately and this would be a great option. And um, the, this is how the process works or the way we actually make it work. That's the reason we are showing you this, even if we waste material. Another thing I wanna mention, the roll that we are using used to be a 50 yard. And usually you will get these little things, the base or the bottom part of it. You get two um, because we get that question a lot too, where we get these from. And usually if you get those sizes, uh, the 50 yard, you will get two of those. So I want to give you guys an idea. This was the white color and this one, the pink color and the one, four little squares that you guys see here. These are going to be like the, uh, not the alignment. Yeah, the alignments. We're going to use these as reference when we apply the decal. And then the ones on the right hand side, these are uh, the registration marks. So we're going to combine this on top of that, like that. And let me go back and show you. We added some, the little uh, lines to make it easier when we weed out. We're about to start weeding this out and you will see, well, you will get a better idea. I'm gonna get rid of this first, the big rectangle. And then we can start waiting out and I like to have the computer next to us so we get an idea of what we're going to be facing and start with this here. 
And I don't know if Saul explained this, but uh, you can use Oracle 651 for wall decals. However, you must know that it is a permanent vinyl and it can damage the paint. So you must let your customer know that. And this is one of the registration marks that we're gonna use. Due to the way our logo is, we're gonna start winning out from here and I'm gonna cut it right here. Although we added our wooden boxes, but sometimes you gotta figure out a way to make it easier to weed out. There's no need for you to struggle just to do things fast. Yeah, Take your time, time and yeah, because you might ruin the whole decal. So now here comes the best part. Ah, this is gonna make some people mad. And this is going to be the whole design. The two colors, we're about to uh, combine this here at home, dry application. So we were discussing uh, where to apply our transfer, but it doesn't really make any difference because the size of the backing paper are exactly the size, or I should say both of, both of the layers are the same size, if you can see. So it doesn't really matter where we apply the transfer, as long as it covers the whole section, everything will be fine. Plus the colors are not gonna be layering on top of each other. So that's what makes it easier too. All right, so we have two different options. We have the uh, AT60 and the AT65. They, they're both low tag but this one is in really bad shape. We're not gonna use this, and that's why the transfer is gonna be a little bit bigger. And yes, we're gonna waste a little bit more. And we put some tape to secure it, but if you work alone from home and you don't have enough help like we do, you can get the application rollers that you are watching here that will also help us support the channel for creating more content. We really appreciate it. All right, so we're ready to apply our transfer and we have enough area here. It was pretty easy. That's why we also use that bigger transfer. We're ready to combine the layers of vinyl and we've already exposed the registration marks and the bottom layer, we secured it to the table. This is very important so it doesn't move around. And now it's time to start combining our registration marks. And I'm going to start from this side. Uh, uh, should we do it this way? Yeah, so? I think we're going to do the uh, bottom and then we'll do the top. And we're going to use our cutting, cutting knife. knife. Cutting knife, I forgot. So now let's, uh, we're pretty much going to do the same process that we do when we do cars. We focus on one area and then the other one. This will make uh, make it easier for us to. This is the only downside about the, uh, the this type of transfers that you can see that we are having a hard time lifting the vinyl. This is the only downside about low tack. I mean, this is not really that bad compared to when, if you're working under the sun, that's, <laughs> That's when it can be a real challenge. No, that'll be real challenge, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna use the cutting knife, which you can also get through the links or on our website and just cut here in the middle. This is why we needed this uh, section of the backing paper, the one that looks like we're wasting because we needed to combine that. Let's say that you get an order online, which you need to send a decal that consists of two colors you're not going to send the customer in separate layers you're not going to send them with their alignments or registrations he's not going to know what to do because he's not into that business so this is why you need to learn how to do this from home and it's very important that we also save our alignments because we're going to use those when we apply our decal on the wall all right guys we are ready to apply our decal and before we apply it, we're gonna clean the surface. We're just gonna do a clean it uh, dry. We're not gonna use any solutions. Um, so we're just gonna use a towel and we have the little alignments that we're gonna use to measure, to, uh, to make sure that the logo is centered. I mean, it's not gonna be in the middle of the surface, but we're just gonna apply it uh, somewhere around this area here. Our customer's gonna let us know exactly where they want it, but we're gonna use the alignments just to make sure that we center it. Since we got a delicate surface, we're gonna use painter's tape, the blue tape. I always recommend that you guys get that too, as well as the transfer. We already talked about this, uh, the low tag transfer. 
So always make sure that you use the right materials depending on the surface. So these are the alignments and that's why we added those um, just to get an idea. We can probably bring it down to 18 exactly. So we're gonna reposition it a little bit. We use pieces of tape to hold the center of it and then we're just gonna cut the backing paper like from the center and then we'll just go down. So not just gonna help me do it like this. This is why it makes it so easy if you combine the layers before you apply them on the surface, like the way we did. Okay, now we can do the top section and I'm gonna move the tapes. I don't think we're gonna need them anymore, but just in case we're gonna save them. I'm just gonna remove that slowly. All right, Nacho is a little short, and so am I. We're gonna do our best. I can just, I'm just gonna move this and place that there. Let's go like this. All right, I'm gonna remove the transfer and we're gonna do it slowly. We may need to apply some heat. Uh, we brought the heat gun in case we need it, in case the vinyl doesn't stay on the surface, we can always use that. Our vinyl is staying on the surface and this is the reason why you should always use a low tag transfer. This is exactly the reason why. Imagine how hard it would be if you were using a high tag transfer, like the AT75. We're almost done. Another question that we get, or sometimes people say that uh, we should apply some heat, like after applying vinyl on walls, and that's, that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. And we have two settings, the medium and the high, and I'm just gonna do medium. I'm not gonna get it too close. And then after that, I'm gonna squeegee all over the decal. Another tool that you guys should get are fingers. We're gonna have links in the description of the video. <laughs> Alrighty, and this is how you make a two color wall decal with just a vinyl cutter. So no matter what type of vinyl cutter you have, whether it's a Silhouette Cameo 4, a Cricut, or even a Titan or a Graphtec, you can still make good money. Thank you guys. We hope that you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. We will see you guys again on the next episode. Thank you.